Hey everyone, my name's Kelvin and welcome back to another watercolor tutorial for Procreate. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, very simple uh, tiger illustration. Now, if you're anything like me, you have a tendency to overdo some of your illustrations and sort of get lost in the details. So I always think it's a good practice to just once in a while, go back to basics and see how satisfying a simple illustration can be. I've also added a few more paper textures to the Etsy store. So in this video, I'm going to take the opportunity to uh, sort of show off the new Himalaya paper texture. But uh, as usual, any of the paper textures uh, from the Etsy store would work fine for an illustration like this. So I've got the Himalaya paper texture already loaded in along with this sketch. And I've pasted it in as the uh, very top layer. And this sketch you guys can have for free. I'll put a link in the description. Just when you place it in, make sure you set the transparency to multiply and maybe lower it uh, because otherwise it'll totally cover up what you're painting. Next, I'll select a blank layer to start painting on underneath the paper texture, just like you normally would. Then I'm gonna grab the abstract round brush from the regular watercolor brush kit. And then for the color, I'll choose a kind of saturated uh, yellowy orange color like that. And then maybe at the largest size, I'll just quickly and roughly uh, fill out the rough outline of this tiger. Now after that, I'll go over it again, but maybe with a slightly different uh, variation of that orange color. And then I'll do one last pass uh, with a much lighter version of that same color. So that looks pretty good. And next, I wanna grab the water blender brush. And at a pretty large size, I'll just sort of mix this up uh, just in a few areas. I don't wanna to get too carried away with it because I do like this kind of splotchy texture. Now I like to pull in some of the white from the background and then kind of pull it back. It just adds a nice kind of watercolor, sort of bloomy texture. So this is looking really good. Uh, here's what I've got so far. Now I've got a lot of watercolor going uh, sort of beyond the sketch. So what I'm gonna do is cut it away. So I'm gonna grab the eraser brush and I'm gonna set that to the fine liner pen. And I'm just gonna erase along the uh, outline of the sketch. So after that, I need to get rid of all the extra watercolor along the edges there. And I'm gonna do that with the selection tool set to automatic. Then I'm just gonna click and drag on the body of the tiger and just set the threshold to a point where it totally fills it out. There we go, that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna to go to copy and paste. Now that just cuts out that selection and pastes it on a layer above. So here's the original one. And when we turn that off, uh, the copy is just the silhouette without any of that extra watercolor we don't need. So this is looking really good. We've got some nice texture going on in there, but now I need to add some structure. So it's gonna be basically shadows and highlights to make this look a little bit more three-dimensional. So as an example, around here on the neck, I need to add a shadow. So I'm gonna use the selection tool, but this time I'll set it to freehand and I'll just trace out a shadow along the bottom of the jaw like this, circle back. Then I'll go to hue, saturation and brightness and just darken that a little bit. Now, an example of a highlight is along the head here. I'll make a circular selection there, feather this one out. Then I'll go to hue, saturation, and brightness again, but this time I'll brighten it. Now, I'm gonna go through this whole uh, illustration here and just add shadows and highlights wherever I think it will look right. So that looks pretty good. Uh, the main ones I wanna point out here is obviously the neck shadow, also this little sort of lighter highlight down here between the front legs, and also this kind of highlight on the belly. Uh, these are really important to kind of define the shape of this particular illustration. And then one that is also a very specific to a tiger is how the face is, and it has these kind of lighter areas around the cheeks. So I'm gonna do that with the selection tool again, set to freehand, and I'll trace out a selection like this. Circle back, and this one I'll feather out. I'll go to hue, saturation, and brightness, and this one I'm gonna brighten quite a bit. Now usually when you do that, it gets a little bit oversaturated, so I'm also gonna lower the saturation a little bit. There we go. Next, I'm gonna add some face details, so we'll zoom in there. And I'm gonna do those on their own layer, so I'll make another layer above this. And I'm gonna start with a kind of pink color for the nose, I think something like this, something pretty light. And I'm gonna use the fine liner pen, and at a really small size, I'll just sort of highlight a pink area on the nose. 
and then also in the ears just a little bit. Next, I want to do the eyes and the mouth uh, outlines. So I'm going to select pure black this time. And at maybe a slightly smaller size, I'll just do the eyes, just kind of stroke based like this. So I'll start out very, very lightly and then press harder and harder as I go down. Then I'll trace out the nose real quick. So that's it for the face. And I know it's really, really simple, but uh, you're welcome to sort of customize it and change the eyes uh, if you want to. Now next, I'm gonna move on and do the stripes. And I'm gonna do those on another layer. So I'll make a new layer above everything. I'm gonna select the same color I did the face details with, but this time for the brush, I'm gonna use the scratchy pen brushes. Now you can have these ones for free. I'll put a link in the description, but just for this video, I'm gonna use the scratchy liner brush and add a kind of medium size, I guess, 20, 30%. Uh, sort of rough out these stripes. Now, the key thing here is that they have areas where they're very, very thin. So I'm gonna press lightly. Then when they get thicker, I'll press harder, thinner, thicker, just kind of work my way around like that. It's pretty loose. I'm trying to keep it really loose because I like the kind of zen, almost inky brush stroke look that this one gives. So I'm just gonna go through and do all the stripes this way. So there we go, that's it for the stripes. Now I'm gonna lower the transparency of the sketch a little bit more just so I can barely, barely, barely see it. And there's just a few more small details I need to add. So if you look up here on the ears, I recommend adding kind of a black stripe on top. Then you can roughly trace out the outline of those ears. Now down here on the feet, um, you can just sort of do a black line just to kind of indicate the claw or the toe. And then as a last kind of touch here, I'm gonna shrink the size of this brush just a little bit more. And I'm gonna go along the neckline here and just add this kind of dashed line just to make it look a little bit fuzzy. Next, as a kind of finishing touch, I'm gonna to use that same scratchy pen brush, but this time at a really, really small size. And I'm just gonna carefully go along the edge and just add a very, very light, sparse outline wherever I think it looks good. And there we go, this one is all done and I love the way it printed out. I think that Himalaya paper texture is really suitable for a simple illustration like this because it does a lot of the work. Uh, it just has so much character and texture that it's okay to keep it sparse, keep the details sparse, uh, and it still has a really interesting look to it. And that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, be sure to check out the new textures on the Etsy store. And as always, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.